that will cover all those issues. So if you want to hook up with some church that actually is going to take you through, know that both of these churches will have that kind of program. Yeah. Um, so get connected somewhere. And if your church you feel is not a safe place for you or other people, um, I challenge you, even in your brokenness, to start changing it. Make it safe. Make a small group of people that are safe. And we're going to sit by the back door, and anybody who wanders into this church, we're going to grab them quick before Aunt Matilda, the the, the, the potluck Nazi, grabs them. Yeah. It's true. It's really true. Um, and, 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 and make that difference. Um, and also, and just to add one thing to that, is the only, the only thing that is going to get in the way of you making a safe place is if you choose not to be real enough that they could actually touch you. You know, you have to say, when, when I deal with, when you talk about dealing with stuff, when I'm dealing with the fact that I, 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 God is working with me with lying or manipulating or being a better wife or whatever, it's like I can deal out loud because I know the person walking in is going to be dealing with that out loud. So be real enough that people can see that you are in the process of sanctification. You're not, you've not arrived. Okay. Uh, good. I'm, I'm it's done. good. No, no, please don't. <laughs> Thank you. You multiply sure. ADD people together. It, it just really is an exciting no. process. It is. <laughs> like a ping pong ball. Um, anyway, so that, that's our, our encouragement and our challenge because um, we really have a heart and a passion that we, as the people of God, um, would have the heart of God. Um, that we would be filled up and experience His, His peace and that we would share it with others. So we're going to pray. So I thought I was done. I knew you weren't. I was just trying so, to So, so, Brian, Brian is going to go ahead and pray. And there are people that are not, um, they, they feel full and whatever, and they're not going to be here for the anointing, but they want to still hang out. Do that, but you are going to be quietly praying for all of us. And so if you want to stay, you're not into the anointing, but you just want to cover us during this time, that's fine. Um, if you are just going to chat, you, um, you've got to take off. Um, take your you chair and walk. Yeah, yeah. So don't take your chair. Well, <laughs> well, and then some of them, take them and stack them over there. Right. That would be great. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's pray. Father, thank you for this weekend. Thank you for the ministry of sugar. Um, but more than that, Father, I thank you for the move of the Holy Spirit in this place. Um, Shri is, is just a clay vessel that you're living inside of and is no different than anyone else in this room. Amen. What she has is not extraordinary or, or whatever because it's the same thing that you want to do in every one of our lives. Um, Father, I pray right now for those who are really freaked out about the concept of the money. We're really nervous um, about it. Work through that fear, Father. We're going to go to that place of, of receiving your Holy Spirit in a new, in a new way. Um, Father, continue this move of the Holy Spirit. Please don't let it, let it die as we leave here. Um, but let us hang on to it. And let us hang on to you and let you come in and heal out all the junk and the baggage. And the baggage of hell, as you said earlier. Um, so we can be people that you're working on that they just show your face and people will find that so compelling. Let us be like Brad was to assure his family. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, um, okay, you're excused, whoever.